You don't know. The big folk prepare to march to war. I sense that you and the big folk share a common foe. I say you arrive just in time. I like that in a champion. The Stormfists captured the giant's mammoths. They plan to use them against Fort Amel. If you oppose the Stormfists, then you are an ally of the Big Folk. Take this horn and blow it at the nearby cave. It will summon a giant to your side. Stormfist scouts hide in the trees. They ambush us when we least expect them. The giant can help you knock the cowards from their perches, then kill them and collect any orders they carry. If you find something, meet me at the camp to the west.
I see victory in your eyes. What did you find on the Stormfist Scouts? Excellent. We couldn't have gathered this information without you. Now, with your continued help, we can take back Cradle Crush and drive off the Stormfist invaders. The notes you discovered suggest two weaknesses in the fort's defenses. The gates and the captive mammoths. Once you get inside, you must free the mammoths to cause havoc and unlock the gates to let us in. Warlord Lob and his lieutenants have made the arena at the heart of Cradle Crush their headquarters. Use the horn there to sound our attack and strike fear into the invaders' hearts. The giant near the natural wall just behind me to the west is ready to help you. Just give him a poke and he'll do the rest. We'll launch our attack once you're inside and we hear the signal.
You did well. Better than I or my master expected. Now, only one task remains. The warlord who leads these brigands lob the cleaver. He's inside, along with the deadly orcs that are always at his side. They're a nasty piece of work, the lot of them. Enter the arena and sound the horn. That will tell the giants it's time. I think not. Such a path fits neither my role nor my disposition. I am a friend, not a foe. Besides, this is your mission. I wouldn't want to steal your glory. Blow the horn and the big folk will come. They'll help you. so much trouble for my troops. Well, that ends here. To me, my honor guard! Four more! Two more! Rip the intruder apart! Watch out! The giants are hurling boulders into the arena!
Welcome back, friend. You survived the challenge and helped the giants take back the stronghold. I couldn't have asked for a better resolution to this situation. Well done. I know. I felt his life force depart when you struck him down. Go in peace, giant friend. You have our thanks. Alhana said they'd meet us here after an evening of prayer. You have to help me. Please help me. I pushed her down, and now she's gone. It was the only way I could get away from those horrible monsters. We were on our way back to Windhelm. We decided to take a shortcut, and those monsters surrounded us. I've never seen anything like them before. They were everywhere, all around us. There were so many of them. I... By the three! Look out! I need to get out of here. Those things are everywhere. 
Please, my friend may still be alive. If you see her, you need to save her. We were near the center of the hot springs when we were attacked. I... I pushed Imhe down. It was the only thing I could do to get away. I wasn't thinking. I never meant to hurt her. Please, find Imhe. I need to go. Oh. Stay away from me, you monster. Damn it, woman. You need to come with me now. The sun hurts me more than you know. We need to get inside. Scales here is about to have a really bad day if she doesn't come with me right now. That bite, it's spreading faster than she realizes. These creatures are the twisted offspring of a vampire, and their bite is just as dangerous. Once bitten, the curse seeps into your body. It gets into your blood until the fever takes you. Then the craving comes over you. The craving for blood. There may be a way. I need to get her back to my manor, though. If she stays out here too long, the sun will find her. Then she'll experience a pain like she has never felt before. Right now, she just needs to shut up and listen to me. I'm just like the creatures that attacked her, except my mind is my own, and I'm a little more sensitive to sunlight. Now, before you do something we'll both regret, hear me out. If I'm going to save Scales, I'm going to need your help. I need blood fiend dust. You can get it from the creatures that bit her. Then maybe we can reverse the effects and save Scales here. I'll keep her safe in the meantime. If you can get that dust, bring it to my mana. Time to go, Scales. We need to make sure you don't turn into one of these creatures. What are you doing? No, don't let him take me.
big man said you'd be showing up soon. He's upstairs with the lizard girl. Gales tried to escape, so we locked her up. Nothing to worry about. Just want to make sure everyone stays safe. It won't be long before she gets that crazed look in her eyes, though. You saw those things out there. They're mindless monsters. As ugly as they are evil, and only interested in killing and feasting. Do you really want Scales out there attacking people? No? That's why I put her in a cage. There's a chance. But it's just that, a chance. There's no guarantee she'll survive the process. I've seen it kill as often as it cures. It's a risk, but the alternative is far, far worse. I swear by the blood of my clan and my clanmates, I only want to help her. She's safe here. I'll protect her for as long as she remains with us. And if the cure fails, I'll teach her to control her urges. You've made the right decision. I promise I'll do everything in my power to help her. We'll watch over her. If she doesn't improve, we'll make sure she doesn't succumb to the bloodlust. Believe me, you won't regret this. Poor Scales burns with the blood fever. She'll be trying to eat every face she sees soon enough. Who would wish that fate upon her? Well, I suppose my father would, but you'll learn more about him shortly. I promise we'll look after Scales. We'll make sure that she's safe and that she doesn't hurt anyone. Now, I need your help. You saw for yourself. Vampire abominations prowl the springs. Those are my father's toys. Sick creations of his evil mind. We've all been infected, cursed, plagued, call it what you will, we're vampires. But we don't have to succumb to the curse's savage nature. My father thinks otherwise. He believes we should embrace the bloodlust, the power, taking those who can't oppose us and making them our own. A civil war rages through East March. He feels the time is right to strike. He wants to grow an army of undead before anyone notices. My father must be stopped at all costs. He's already targeted the Winterland Hunters. He's about to turn them into his puppets. Joruk downstairs can tell you how to save them. That's our first step. I hope Valeric didn't convince you to join our cause. Our battles never end well. True, his father's a bastard, but he's a strong bastard. Valeric can't beat him, and those who help us usually die. But enough depressing talk. How can Jeruk help you? Yes, yes, Jeruk always has a plan. The Blood Fiends hunt by scent. They have the hunter's scent and await the command to strike. If we mask the scent, the Blood Fiends will lose interest and wander off. The hunters will be saved. Take this liquid. It is a gift from Jeruk's close friends, Cello and Harp. Don't ask what it is you don't want to know. Splash it on the hunters. 
Make them smell like something the blood fiends won't want to eat. Oh, they'll hate it. They'll probably try to kill you. It's best if you rough them up a bit first. Show them who's stronger. Then splash it in their faces. As long as they end up very smelly, the hunters should be safe. Majorn, my master, would like to speak with you. You've made contact with Majorn's son, Valeric. He's a troubled young man, ashamed of his heritage. Majorn simply wishes to end the conflict with his son. For this reason, my lord requests to meet with you. Oh, it's not just you. Others have tried to help Valeric. They either see how futile their task is, or they say, my master wants to explain this to you. You don't have to make any decisions right now. Just hear him out. He will meet with you in his manor, the one to my left. No harm will come to you at this time. Majorn gives you his word. You must be curious as to why I summoned you. I want to give you an opportunity to learn my son's true intentions. His fire is admirable, but he does more harm than good. Valeric opposes me because I embrace my true nature. I take what is mine without thought or hesitation. Valeric questions everything and tries to fix our people. He deprives them of what they need to survive while telling them there is a better way. When they finally taste fresh blood, the fever takes hold. They become wild, savage monsters, more dangerous than anything I create. Many call me evil, but at least I do not feed indiscriminately. I feed to survive. I feed to increase my power. Valeric must be stopped. My people may kill hundreds, but when his followers lose control, they kill thousands more. I hide nothing from you. I am not a good man nor a good father. But I shall not kill my only son. For that, I need your help. I could crush you, yet I do not. You need to understand. The two who follow my son are all that remain. The others lost control slaughtered villages in their mindless rage. They had to be, how do I say it, put down. Such a waste. Of course he didn't. Why would he tell his new ally that he was the cause of such rampant slaughter? I grow tired of these questions. I have told you what you have asked. Now you must answer me. Will you assist me or shall we be enemies? If that is your decision, so be it. After you leave here, know that I am your enemy. When next we meet, I will tear out your heart and drink your blood. And that shall still be better than if one of Valeric's followers becomes crazed and attacks you.
throws cat piss on people. By the void and by the darkness, may the doors of oblivion be flung wide. Smells awful.
You saved the lives of the hunters. You ruined their clothes, but you saved their lives. My father will be upset when his slaves fail to locate new prey. He'll become curious. Then we'll catch him off guard. My father won't risk going outside. It's too dangerous. The sun is deadly to his ancient form. No, he'll send his thrall Tunis to see what went wrong. We need to catch my father before he returns to the crypts and locks the doors behind him. Rala will sneak into my father's manor and wait for Tunis to return. She'll deal with him. I need you to enter the crypts. Rala may be a vampire, but she's still young. She wouldn't stand a chance against an ancient. Rala is quick. She can blend with the shadows. Slitting a thrall's throat is well within her capabilities. But someone more powerful than her needs to confront my father. Please leave me alone. I don't want to talk about what happened here. I couldn't resist the urge. I had to feed. Valeric keeps us locked away. He doesn't let us feed. Not naturally. Not like this. I need blood to survive. Why deny me this pleasure? I don't care what Valeric taught us. This is who we are. This is what we are. If we ever hope to defeat the Ancients, we must embrace the power as they do. We can't keep feeding on skeevers and hope to grow strong. We must. We must feast. It's been so long. You just don't understand. How could you? I need this to live. Valeric starves us. We mostly feed on animals, finding criminals when we can. There's a reason we're not as strong as the Ancients. We must grow stronger. No, I... You're right. What am I doing? I've fallen just as the Ancients wanted us to. Here, this is the key to the crypts. Tunis had it. Go in there and end this, please.
dare. Come. I'll feast upon your sweet, sweet blood.
gone. I can feel it. His presence faded when you struck him down. We don't need to fear his tyranny any longer. You killed Maeon, not me. Don't take this the wrong way. We're grateful for what you have done, but you did it. You destroyed a tyrant who could have built a formidable force, one strong enough to challenge the Scald King. Now, that won't happen. We will go somewhere safe. A place where we won't be a danger to others. My friends still have much to learn. I can't risk others until I know they can control their temptations. No one will fall victim to our people again.
task for you. Over here, Initiate. Now Cradle Crush is crawling with giants. I bring an urgent message from Rhea Opacarius, Chief Oracle of the Twilight Queen Azura. Fists have been dealt with, and the duplicates rounded up. But whatever poison attacks the king grows worse with each passing hour. We can't help him without more information. Now our enemies stoop so low as to ally themselves with Daedra? The poison will kill the king before we can get him to the healers in Windhelm. And no one here can cure a poison like this. We need to ask the Turnian monks for help. An old cult worshipped totem gods. Call them monks or witches as you will, but they wield strong healing magic. 
Their rituals are complex, and those who seek their help must bring their own ritual components. The poison weakens the king. We need a substance to bolster his life force. The Turnian monks also require a focus, an object or even a person. Something or someone that possesses a rare power can serve this function. We can't thank you enough. My father was evil. He abused the gifts we've been given. With him gone, we have a chance to live peacefully. Well, as peacefully as our kind can. You've done a great thing. Ridding this world of my father. Speak. Tell me your desire, and I shall make it so. My blood? Do you intend to turn the Scald King into one of us? Why would you help us stop my father just to create another vampire? You have earned my trust, friend. Therefore, I must believe you speak the truth. Take it, save the king, but don't make me regret giving this to you.
Pike's victim delirious. She falls in and out of consciousness. The troll bite is inflamed, and it begins to ooze. Please, Stormy. Too much to do and too little time. You can do. A stranger offers aid. You dare to put your own life in danger for the benefit of others. That sounds too good to be true. Well, I would be foolish to turn down help, wherever it comes from. I need certain materials to perform the ritual. Can you gather them for me? I need you to catch torch bugs. I need five pairs of wings. No more, no less. I also need the satchel for my home, the intact building, the one with the sturdy lock. The key should be in an urn near the house. I tossed it in there when I ran by. Can't you see I'm busy? Many people to care for, including one who slowly slips away. I don't have time to deal with strangers until my own people are safe and secure. It will help me find my way through her dreams. I enter the dream stride and cure people from within. I've always had this gift. I try to use it for good, but things don't always work out the way you hope. I try not to think about those times.
to be! Who... Who are you? What are you doing in here? Everyone was supposed to be gone. Just gathering my belongings. I had to leave so suddenly I missed a couple of necessities. Now get out of my house, won't you? I don't want you here. Of course this is my house. I told you it was my house. Why would I be in here if it wasn't my house? And you're still standing there. Didn't I just tell you to leave? Figures you'd be working with the lizards. They always lure outsiders to their cause with false promises and sob stories. Those Argonians are killers. If you're working with them, you're no better than they are. What am I talking about? That Dreamwalker! He uses dark magic, magic he doesn't understand. How many innocents have to die because of his recklessness? That's just what he wants you to believe. And you're stupid enough to listen to his lies. It's a shame a troll didn't rip your heart out. It's what you and those killers deserve. Now get out of my way. I have what I came for. Trying to help them. You help those who let the innocent die? Dare you help the Argonians? The filthy lizards? They killed my wife. She put her faith in the Dreamwalker. <coughs> put her life in his hands. My wife was ill. This dreamwalker. He promised he could cure her by entering her dreams. She swore off practical medicines, said there were other ways. There were lies. 
I held her hand as her life slipped away. He, he killed her. I came here to make them suffer, all of them, to make them feel the pain as I did. I put blood around the village, lured the trolls here. I watched them destroy the place, and now it, it seems I hold the life of another in my hands. Whoever the Dreamwalker is trying to save, he sent you for his reagents, didn't he? That's why you were in the house. That's why I was there, too. To make sure he never stepped into another dream again. Let me go, and I'll tell you where to find them. I tried to destroy this monster after what he did to my wife. But it's out of my hands now. Let me go, and I'll tell you where I hid the reagents. Kill me, and you'll never find them. I put the reagents into a vase, and threw it into the ruined building I ran by. Take them, and get back to your dreamwalker. Just know it won't work. She's dead. Regardless of what you do, just... Just like my wife. Did you bring the items I requested? No time to talk about that now. I know exactly who you met, but please, I must try to save this one's life first. The present now, then we can discuss the past. Sister of Wind will recover. Breathing normal, body healing, her dreams were tainted by the injuries. Always happy when I help another. Always remember the ones I couldn't save. One of many. Beautiful woman. Dark hair, pretty eyes, like the sea. Osmala came to me and begged for my help. I knew her chances weren't good, but I decided to try to save her anyway. Luckily, none of my people were lost, but poor Osmala. He acted out of grief, out of love for the woman he lost. I forgive him. They are safe. Trolls still roam the area, but they will get bored and wander off when the food runs out. Hopefully, they won't look in this cave. We are in your debt. My skills are yours, should you ever need them. If you ever need assistance, you need only to ask. I owe you the largest of favors, as do my people. Of course, a favor was promised, and a favor you shall receive. What do you ask of me? Poison? Poison is more dangerous than physical wounds. Some of these vile substances cause dreams to collapse. No matter, a promise is a promise. Where is the king? The Turnian monks? I have heard many things about them. Many interesting abilities are attributed to these monks. Now I'm eager to visit the Turnians. I'll meet you there.
The spirits told me you were close. I spoke to the Turnian monks. They admitted the king and the prince, but not me. I left the fold. They remember that, but they will help the king. The Dreamwalker is already inside. Let the monks know you bring the ritual components. I must be off. Filgor is on the run and we're closing in. Now go, save the king so he can lead us to victory. Outsiders are not welcome here. Please, outsider, leave us be. The Turnian monks want no part in the war that rages across this land. Your king has fallen into a deep eternal sleep. You cannot aid him. His fate depends on the favor of the three old gods now. Well, not dead, at least not yet. But his soul struggles as his dreams turn to poison. They tear at him, pull him deeper into the darkness. One calling himself Dreamwalker claims he can enter his nightmare. With our magic, he says your king can be saved. Speak with Yadvar inside the cave, but don't get your hopes up. If the three old gods require your help, that's between you, them, and the Durnian elders. You come to support the slumbering king. When last I saw him, his skin was pale and his breathing shallow. His life force slowly drains away. It would take a miracle or a favor from the three old gods to save him now. When he isn't asking inane questions, the Dreamwalker makes the same claim. So many questions. He actually believes we turn into bugs and fly. With your king's life hanging in the balance, I hope you haven't put your trust in the wrong place. As you say, before your friend can enter the eternal slumber, we need to enhance the king's life force. Bring him back from the brink of death long enough for the Dreamwalker to slip inside. Otherwise, the journey will kill them both. Horrible creatures, but their blood has its uses. I'll open the gate to our ritual grounds. Please don't disturb the monks who pray there. Your king sleeps on the center platform, where our high priest ministers to him. Does my father still sleep, priest? Our healing magic maintains his life, but the Daedric poison is strong. I'm not sure we can overcome it. If my father dies, the Turnian monks will suffer. Understand that, healer. Now save your king. King Yorin's son is worried, and I don't blame him. Our healing magic is strong, but it's not much good against Daedra corrupted poison. The king won't awaken on his own. So my monks tell me. We don't usually deal with Daedric magic. We can keep King Yorin alive, but we can't restore him. Your Dreamwalker is our best chance. I hope he's done this before.
You brought what we need. Now the Dreamwalker must enter the Dream Stride. From there, he's on his own. My magic can't help him. Pray at the totems of the three old gods. Perhaps they will show you the Dreamwalker's progress. Then we watch and wait. Come, Dreamwalker. King Yorin is ready. It is time for you to get involved. Not to worry. I've done this many times. Many times. But I'm sure everything will be just fine. Be sure to hold the king down. If he begins to thrash around, hit him with a rock. Kidding. Kidding. Very sad. The king's soldiers fell in battle, but are raised in a dream. Rage fills them, and they are strong. What is this sorcery, priest? What's happening to my father? The dream. It's leaving the king's body. How... how is this happening? The three old gods watch over this man, and grant him a quick painless journey from this place. Something has sparked the Dreamwalker's magic as well as our own. Whatever haunts King Yorin begins to flow into this world as well. As the poison spreads through his body, he fights back harder. It's pushing the forces into our own plane. It means your king's last moments of life are upon him. His spirit is strong, a fighter. I believe that's what has caused these projections. He won't give in to death. Sadly, we can do nothing to help him from out here. The Dreamwalker was most likely injured by the blast of magic. He was the last chance we had. Your king can't do this on his own. No doubt he'd be eager to join his father. He's not ready, though. Even now, rage takes him. One must be calm to even think about taking such a journey. Sending him in there would only guarantee the death of both father and son. You would do this? And for a man you barely know? Your life could be forfeited by doing this. Very well. The decision is yours. I can use what remains of the Dreamwalker's magic to send you into the Dreamstride. From there, you will be on your own. I can't imagine what awaits you in the dreams of King Yorin. His dreams turn to nightmares. What once was pleasant is now twisted and dark. You must help him overcome these trials. Pray to the three old gods. Seek their blessings and call upon their aspects to aid you. They might help you, but each in a different way. Remember what the Dreamwalker said and be open to any way an aspect may aid you. I can give you insight to each of our gods before you enter King Yorin's dreams. That's about all I can do from here. Once you enter the dream, you will be on your own. I'll attempt to keep his life force stable for as long as I can. The poison pulls from Yorin's memories and gives strength to his greatest fears. The death of his sister, the soldiers in his service, and Fildgor. His dreams have created guardians to hide his true memories. You must show him the truth of things.
Look at your soldiers, Joran. This is what happened to us. Locked away in some crypt like common. No one cared that we died. We were just arms for you. No. I respected and cared for each and every one of you. With each of your deaths, I lost brothers and sisters. But we fought for what we all believed in. We fought for our freedom.
died because of you. You threw their lives away. Now you are paying for it. King Yorin stirs in agony before he calms and grows still. These waves repeat even as you enter his dreams. His life continues to slip away. What did you discover? The poison polluting his body. It makes him reimagine his fears and lets the nightmares tighten their grip. He will continue to seek a way out as long as the dream continues. You must follow the king deeper still. Continue to pray to the totems. You already set one of the fractured parts of his spirit free. You need to be quick this time. If the king knows he's in danger, the dream will collapse behind him and strengthen the nightmare's power. <laughs> <laughs> 